everyone welcome back to my channel so today I finally have a brow routine video for you guys and a lot of you have been requesting for one and I had finally done it for you the reason is because I just every time I film a brow routine I don't like how the camera's positioned I don't like the lighting like the last one I did is I uploaded it and everything but I put uploaded it on private and I, it never went out because it's just horrible and I did already have a brow routine before but I just didn't like it and my brow routine has completely changed since then and the lighting was really bad in that one as well so hopefully this one is okay and that you can see everything clearly by the way I do want to mention that I do kind of thread my brows but it's been a while since I haven't because the lady that always does it kind of messes them up so I've been trying to grow them out and do them myself lately I actually use wax just to clean out like all around the brow and just use tweezers but that's all I do to kind of maintain my brow and then I just use all these products in this video to just fill in my brows but yeah I'm just going to jump straight onto this tutorial before I start blabbering on all day like I always do so yeah if you want to know how to get these brows just keep on watching so for my brows I've lately been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz not Brow Wiz Brow Definer I used to use the Brow Wiz I can focus I used to use the Brow Wiz but this has like literally changed my life like it's so easy to use and I haven't reached for my brow with for like so long but um, it's just so easy to use so um, what I like to do um, I like to use the spoolie side and comb out my brows first as you can see here I have a very sparse area that's why I've been avoiding going to the the brow lady like my threading lady because they always seem to mess up my brows like it looks so clean afterwards but they always make it look so thin and I really don't like because basically what she does to get rid of that sparse area she literally takes a whole layer of hair there and it's so annoying but anyways so what I like to do is I like to go uh, along the bottom of the brow first with the brow definer Since I got the brow definer, I've been doing my brows before I put my foundation on, but normally I would do it when I've done my foundation and I would go onto my brows. But right now, because I'm filming this brow routine, I want my makeup to be done. So then I just go along the arc. I just follow my brow shape, to be honest. It's so easy to use, like, look at that, it's just like taking seconds. To do it, I put more pressure towards the the outer corner of my brow, and towards the inner corner, I barely put any product. Sometimes I like to go for a dramatic brow. Sometimes I just go for I try to go for a soft brow, um, and I just like to take my spoolie and soften up that line that I've made, and just to distribute the product nicely. kind of go in till the end but very lightly just to like give shape to my brow I hope I'm not doing this too quick and then I just go upwards um, here very very lightly I don't even go all the way up and then I just blend it So that's what I tried to go for, as you can see that's a huge difference. Look at that ugly brow, what is this, this is just like a line, like it's just like a slug on my eye, on my face. So yeah that's what I do, just go in just to fix some areas up, it doesn't matter if this is not perfect we're going to go with some, conceal with some concealer and we're just going to fix that up, but here I just like to keep it super natural don't want to put too much product okay so here it's kind of like um, the brows like very sparse because I don't really have hair up there and I go there because I want to create the arc um, so what I like to do is then take a very small eyeliner brush which looks like this sorry mine's already dirty I've been loving my NYX Tame and Frame brow pomade and this is in the shade Espresso 
this is what it looks like as you can see I've been using it quite a lot even though I got it recently I never tend to go for like even though my brows are like got black hair I tend to go for like a dark 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 brown instead of going for a really black color because I feel like it will be a bit too harsh so what I like to do is I like to take some with my brush and then like kind of flatten the brush on the back of my hand and then I kind of create like brow kind of looking like strokes and I also use it to kind of carve out the outer part of my brow just to make it more of like a ombre look Sorry if I keep looking over there, it's just that I'm trying to make sure that I'm in frame and that you guys can see everything because you guys don't even know how many times I've tried to film a brow routine and every time I go on to edit it, I just don't like the lighting, I don't like how I'm positioned, I don't like how the camera is, I just don't like anything of it. So I'm trying to make sure that this video is perfect. So right now I'm just trying to fill in those sparse areas. The thing that I like about this brush is that it's super pointy and thin so I really can like get those really thin looking brow hairs and I lightly, I lightly flick upwards towards the inner corner just to create some more little brow hairs Then I go back in with my spoolie, blend this bit in, and the thing that's great about this brow thingy, the NYX one, is that it, it acts like a gel as well, so it keeps your hair in place. So as you can see, like in this area, I need to add more product because it's not looking too good. So I'm just going to lightly put some pressure. Fill that area in and there's some missing thick. So so far that's the brow, even though they're not threaded or anything. So then when I've done with like the brow itself, look oh that that bit looks dodgy, but anyways, um I like to take my sleek clear brow gel, it's actually called the Brow Perfector and it's just like a really like, it's just basically a spoolie with gel on it and what I like to do is just basically set my brow in with this especially like in the inner corner Oh, make sure you take any excess gel off but what I like to do is just comb the hairs upwards here I really need to cut the inner bits of my brow because it's a bit too long when I flick them upwards but my brows in the inner corner go upwards so I make them go upwards and then I kind of follow the brow hairs like in this direction just to lay them flat basically okay so then when I'm done with my brow gel I like to go on to concealer um, I just take I just basically take my uh, Good Decay Naked Skin Concealer if I can get it out of this stupid <gasps> so yeah then I take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer this is in the shade medium dark warm oh and by the way I forgot to say my brow definer is in the shade dark brown I always take dark brown from Anastasia anyways so then I just take my concealer and I just like dab a dot here then I'm gonna take a concealer brush like this Sometimes I like to go for this one, or sometimes I just like to go for this really, really flat one. But today I just feel like going for the other one. And I just like kind of highlight the brow bone. And I'm just going to take a bit more on the back of my hand and dip the brush in it and I'm just gonna like clean that line up 
and I always do this when I do my brows by the way I just feel like it carves your brow out really nicely okay I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take the other one okay so that's my brow literally that's what I do Sometimes I like to go here with a with a concealer, but I don't feel like I need to. Especially when I use that NYX um, brow pomade thing, I don't feel like I need to do that, like go over. But you can do that if you want. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that's a huge, huge difference. So I've just done my other brow, and please mind this one. This is the dodgy brow. Like, I don't know if this is for everyone, but. You have to have like your perfect brow that's always perfect and then you have the hard one that's just dodgy all the time and this is my one. Like it's just so dodgy every single time I do it but when I'm done with my brows I sometimes like to take my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter and just take a small fluffy brush and highlight my brow bone with this. I only do this sometimes but I just really like how it adds to like the glowy look and you guys know that I'm obsessed with glowy skin so this is what I like to do sometimes. I just like place it under my brow bone and it just gives like a glowy brow bone um however i wouldn't do this if you haven't like threaded your brows because it will accentuate those brow hairs um if you haven't threaded them to kind of like hide those hairs you can use a matte powder um and basically they won't it won't make it stand out as much but i really like to highlight my brow bone sometimes so so that's really my brow routine to be honest i don't really do much actually i I don't know, I do this all the time, but I'm so used to doing it that it just I just do it so quickly now. A lot of you have been requesting this video, I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, I love you guys all so much, and until next time, I'll see you then. Bye!